Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We are playing as the Karen Shaddam, and uh, the Shia Caliph has uh, declared a uh, jihad on us. And I'm not too worried about it, but we are going to need to get some more people involved. Let's go ahead and raise you. Let's go ahead and raise up the rest of you and the rest of you. And for now, all of you guys... Let's go over here so you don't accidentally walk into any of these... Idiots. Come over here to Gurgen. Yeah, actually, well... Hmm. It's a little bit late now, but let's come over here. So you're going there, that's fine. Yeah, I should have set up some different uh, places for them to uh, go. Uh, you guys can just disband. That's fine. Okay. So you come over here. We got 9k. That's good enough to uh, take this, I think. Uh, we had a lo Lord Mayor die of Kufa. When did he become a... Oh my god, he was... I swear he was not a Lord Mayor. Jeez. Oh, that is really annoying. Alright, well, not a whole lot we can do about that. Okay, fine. I will get rid of you. Raise you up there. Okay, they've almost taken out the fort, but that's just a fort. You are Persian and Zoroastrian. This will go for a diplomatic education then. Yeah, I don't really care about that at the moment. During the Battle of Kuvir, uh, the enemy cornered my commander, Satrap Pashang. He is flat terrain expert. Another one bites the dust. And I have a budget deficit again. That's kind of what I was worried about. Well, you have great pox, but you are a siege leader, so we'll make you that. Let's bring you over here. I must have missed one of the uh, little armies. Let's come down there, we'll take care of you afterwards. Okay, you're all together. So you're going to Seuss. That's fine. Eh, yeah, whatever. And you are properly Persian. Hope it's beneficial influence. All right, now you're going up there. Wait, no, no, you're not. There is just a host that is one. I don't know who. Is. Oh, it's these guys.
They're probably going over there, and that's okay. The jealous husband of my lover, Lamara, has denounced us both as adulterers publicly. How embarrassing. Uh, as soon as I came to pick up Elnaz to help out, uh, help me out cutting down some trees, she starts complaining, and apparently she has a nasty stomachache. Indolent brat, I'll show her. Uh, maybe there's something wrong with her. Let's do that. Poor child. Let's see, my Shahanshah, word has reached me that your Mobad has accused me of heresy. I implore you, as a devout Zoroastrian. Uh, you are... I don't think I care about you. Of course he's a heretic. Like I care. Uh, let's all come down here. There are many legends about the great man whose blood I share. A particular story has been circulating at court lately. It focuses on an epic feat where Muhan proves his strength of character. The more I hear, the more I wish to emulate him. Muhan Ashina. Oh. Okay. I shall strive to be more like him. I gain the just trait to get emulating a legend for five years. Vassal opinion plus five. Darn tootin. So is this a situation where I will just get events where I could gain some of his traits or something? Because it's uh, weird that we haven't had this. We have had two of the Dulo things, but we didn't get any traits out of that. Okay, captured you. Go take care of you guys. Yep. And budget deficit again. The majority of Coswin have been converted. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll just start... Nope, I can't move you yet. Alright. More keep... Pouring in, which is good. Uh, you are about to siege through the fort. Give me budget deficits, dang it. So what exactly is this guy working on? Attacking Samrat Ramashawar in of the Bengal Empire in Abbasid Bengal Subjugate. I, uh, I deeply dislike this turn of events. I deeply, deeply, deeply dislike this turn of events. Um, and it is 35% in favor of the Bengal Empire, but oh my god, if that were to work? You know, I mean, for as much harm as we have done to the Abbasids, they're having a really good game. Sardinia and Qu 
Corsica. Sardinia and Corsica has very little of Sardinia and Corsica. <laughs> oh, man. Why are the Catholics not going on crusades? Please. Yeah, got to get on some crusades against the Abbasids. Please, for, the cr for crying out loud. Save my bacon a little bit. Uh, let's see, you are Zoroastrian, good. Siege of Otrar, now you're there. Well, can't do a whole lot about that. Hey, son was born. Let's go with a uh, duty education. You guys there. Let me get you there. And come up around here somewhere. See if we can catch this army. Uh daughter was born. You've inherited an ARG. Okay, but we are going to attack you there. I've got... I think it's like, uh... Pain for the... Uh, the troops for, um... My retinue that's causing that. Okay, it looks like we... Have eliminated... Pr eliminated pretty much everyone who is, uh... Doing anything... Near us, other than some raiders... Wait for some of these things. Oh, oh. There's some raiders. Let's go take care of them. I can write a theorem paper. I will make a decent effort. I can ransom you for 10 gold. Seems fine. Completely wiped them out. I like it. No, we can't. All right. I am going to... I'm very tempted to, like, raise up all of my vassal troops and just, like, march them over there. You're Sunni. So they could do a subjugation, but... That's about it. And some more land from the uh, Byzantines was taken. Byzantines, please stop sucking. Okay, well, I can probably uh, deal with uh, any remaining troops from these guys with uh, just my retinue. Gather yeah, herbs in the hills. They've gone. Still got a deficit. You've died. Don't really care. Got a child who needs an education focus. You are Persian Zoroastrian, so you can have duty. Seek to kill someone. Don't care. Raiders. Don't care. Don't care. You died. Uh, don't care. Don't care about that. Don't care about that. Well, we haven't gotten any more of the events, so we probably have gotten as many of these things as we're going to. Um, I, they, it's much more likely to happen the more in 
debt you are, though. My knowledge will be helpful in identifying plants. Let's get over here, face you. Actually, I think I got rid of you, I did. So let's go ahead and raise you up again. Bring you around there, because there were the troops here, and I think they're probably coming up this way. I mean, they might go this way, but... Yeah, there they are. Raiders in Fergana. Nope, I'm not doing anything there. I produced an excellent paper on hier hieroglyphic translation. I will send it out at once. Okay, you were going back there again. You're going over there. You've endorsed it. How dare he say it's not good enough. Thank you. Thank you. Another child needs an education focus. At least we got something out of it. Uh, Violet, Lemongrass. Thanks for my great diplomatic skill. The smuggler's ring in Merv has been destroyed. Uh, with my great martial ability, I've rounded up and executed the robber bands that were plaguing Gurgen. Raiders in Amida. Don't care. Peasants of Ray are starting to respect me again. Okay. Um... I think I can unpause these now. I unpaused it. Okay, maybe it'll just take a moment. Oh, no, no, I know. Um, right. I, I hate that it's, it's not clear what it's referring to there. Oh, I lose a trade gregarious. Dang it. And Raiders and Aksu again. I hate Raiders so much. I possess a great mind, though. <sighs> My wife has died. should get married. Um, this might be a thing to... Nah, I don't want to send him. This might be a, a good time. Uh, I'm 50. This would prevent them from attacking me. It is 700... Nah, it's 750 grace. I'm, I'm gonna risk it. Eh, yeah, do matrilineal. Uh, like Ahura Mazda and... Spandar Ahmad at the time of creation, Shahan Shah Vishtaz and his daughter Shadokht Ghazal have gotten married under the blessed auspices of Zwedoda, ensuring fullness and order. We can collect a royal aid duty to pay for the ceremonies. 783 gold. Yeah. No, people respect wealth. No, no. I need wealth. I am going to take that. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys taken care of, and you have died. Alright, need a new spy master. Uh, you're okay. I guess I will take you. Study technology over here. Need a new apprentice. 
I guess I will make my second... Well, actually, I'll make you my apprentice now. There we go. You are now my prisoner. He's a dwarf and a hunchback. We're only at 53%, but I will ransom him. Let's go ahead and get you over there. Don't see any more raiders over there, so bring you over here. Where are these guys going? Okay, I'm hoping that they're going to go this way. Thank you. Uh, daughter was born. Perhaps it is time I ask Grandmaster Manicure to spend some time with me. I will ask him. I'm over my uh, domain limit. Oh, because of my... Ah, shoot. I should have... Uh, yeah, because you're bad at stewardship. I should have looked for that. Um, I can't do this because I'm at... No, I can. Let's uh, really drop down my vassal limit. Duchy of Mudar, Duchy of Baghdad I could create. How are we doing? You... How did you get married to her? Parthian and Ashina blood. Oh! What? Under the Count of Bohemia, did I just for re not realize that this was a thing? Died under suspicious circumstances. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you were Persian, you were all under... That guy. Huh. Weird. Um, alright, well, I guess that's where she came from. Uh, so you have kids. You have a lot of kids. You have a son. You have a son. Also married to her. She's Jewish. Wait, what? Humayun's Khazar Band. I, <laughs> I do not know what happened, where these people came from. I have, I have apparently lost track of my family. Uh, you would be a problem. You could be a problem. But it's not that big of a deal. I think one didn't Kermanshaw already... No, it did not. Didn't one of these... Grantland title. Satrapy of Baghdad. There we go. Alright, so you can have Baghdad. And... 34 out of 38. That's only 4, but I would still only be 1 above. So... And I want to get up to uh, higher centralization anyway. So there we go. Okay. Fix the domain too big. We can finally talk in private. Uh, I took the opportunity of Manicure's visit to show him my private study and some of my experiments. For hours I described him the fruits of my many years of labor, hoping to catch his attention. I hope you liked your time here. Uh, I fulfilled 
all my obligations as a host, just. I hope you found the entertainment of your liking, because of Lustful. Uh, his opinion of me changes by 20, good acquaintance, and his opinion of me changes by minus 20 for provoked. Uh huh. So, oh, long term we have uh, twenty. Short term, it's just nullified. Well, I mean, we're at one hundred right now with him. So, I don't know. Grandmaster Manikir is already very fond of me. Perhaps I should focus my time and resources to sway somebody else. No, I wish to maintain his friendship. Cut through uh, Susa, heading to Elam. There we go. Uh, and yes, they are going that way. You've been studying Zoroastrian faith. You got burnt at the stake. Sounds good. Sounds reasonable. Ooh, wiped them out entirely. Very nice. Thanks to my wise stewardship of Zanjan Abar, the local thieves' guild has been eradicated. Peasants of Gurgan are starting to uh, respect me again. Anything else? Thanks to my great diplomatic skills, Smuggler's Ring Gurgan has been destroyed. Do I still have a... No, I do not. I uh, have gotten rid of the loan. Alright, so we're working on these. Uh, the Caverns of Colm, they're still going to be a while. As long as I don't get another thing that tosses me deep into debt, uh, we should be able to... Actually, no, this is this is going to be done in six months. So I can't start another one until that. What do we look we're looking at a thousand gold for a lot of these. Okay, well, that's uh, annoying. I can go into hiding. Apparently someone's trying to kill me. Uh, I mean, I guess I have kind of... had my way with his wife, but, you know, I mean... It's totally understandable. She's a blood of Bagrat. Uh, thanks to the retinue station in the Caverns of Comb uh, and my great dip diplomatic skill, the Smuggler's Ring and Ray has been destroyed. So that's a good reason to build one of those. I am starting to think my daughter might fancy me! Make a move. I went to her chamber and gave her a good tumble. It's good to be the Shah and Shah. Yeah, I foresee that uh, that comment making the the comment section uh, of that video, of this video. It's gonna happen. Uh, let's see. You were just coming back. You're getting your butt kicked, so that's fine. Uh, the local thieves guild in Kotan. Retinue station in the caverns of Comb helped me round up and execute the robber band. In there? I wonder if this just, like, works on neighboring provinces, counties. That's pretty handy, though. I like that. Uh, I can't take it anymore. Let's uh, brew a potion of eudaimonia. I'll combine the two. See if that works. Feel different, lighter. So 1590, 1590, I can get some more. Quite a few more, actually. A thousand more. There is a temptation to get rid of my 
light infantry and archer retinues in order to replace them with my uh, horse archer retinue. I'm gonna need to think about doing that. Can I see exactly how many? You can't really see exactly how many you're, you've got. Because it calculates it based on the cost. And, yeah, I mean, if you look at that, archers, 5,400, two for each soldier, whereas light infantry, 5,400.7. Um, I could get quite a few more light cav and horse archers, and I got a lot of those, jeez. That is going to be uh, adding up to a big thing. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely something to consider. I don't think we need the troop numbers as m anywhere near as much. I mean, I'm at 6,400 at the moment. Um, but that's really because of this and the higher troops. So it's not that big of a deal. Anyway, it is about time to end the episode. When we come back next time, um, they are not doing well. They are still attacking Samrat Rameshwar of the Bengal Empire. But I don't think that we can... Yeah, we have a truce. When is the truce up? Sixty-eight, so four years. You are... You've joined in. All right, so that's someone to uh, go kill. Kurdistan. Let's come up here. Alright, well, that will be when we come back. Oh, hey, uh, did you just get imprisoned by me and I didn't realize it? No. I think you got imprisoned by someone else, but we're at 100%. Who are you imprisoned by? Grand Mayor Nard the Tormentor. It's an unfortunate name for him, really. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and just offer peace. Yep, offer peace. Enforce demands, that will, uh... He, he will gain 10 decadence. I will gain 150 prestige, 300 piety. I'm not going to gain any money for this. No, I do. Pay 644 gold. It's up at the top. I thought it was further down. Uh, that's going to screw him over. Thank you. The Jihad fails. The greatest, it seems, does not favor the Muslim faithful. After a string of defeats and setbacks, Caliph Muhend II has called off the Jihad for Persia against Shahanshah Vishtabs of the Karen Empire. Pathetic. And he's still imprisoned. Oh, he's going to be imprisoned for a while. I, well, actually, he's probably going to die in prison. Alright, come here. Don't move. Get rid of you. And we'll call this an episode. So we'll come back next time. Um, we're basically looking at four years. And then we could try. Let's, uh, let's see if we still have the Great Conquests. We do. So we could do a Great Conquest of um, Persia. That will get us that. And then... Rosh is down there. Sindh is there. Punjab is there. So... We could do Sistan. I mean, of course I could do, like, anything else. It's kind of a temptation, but... I mean, basically, we're looking at, like, 15 years. 20 years, maybe. Um, you know, maybe 25, just for the uh, actual executing the wars. To take what we need, and then uh, we'd be able to... Uh, become the South Shant. 
That's Karen Crown to the Treasury. Uh, becomes known as the founder of a bloodline, giving the following effects. Damage against religious enemies, plus 30%. Monthly piety, plus 1. Temple vassal opinion, plus 10. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Alright, but uh, that will be next time. See you then, everyone.